Well, welcome back to the show, dear viewer. Well, do you remember Amos? We went to vis visit him in Mimai last time. He had this special fruit. That one, that fruit up here, when I got it on my hand. It's strong, it looks like a, for me, it looks like a, a shell, like a coconut or something like that. Okay, that fruit has been used in a mumu or in a, in a casserole they do down there. It's got that special flavor, it's got that reddish color on it. There we are. That's what we have. That's the fruit I'm talking about. It's got that reddish inside, it's got a bit of seeds, and the things we're going to use and make a paste with it will be that reddish. See, it's a bit coloring, it's not sticky on the hand. Not much taste like that because you have to be cooked. So let me show you what I'm going to do with that fruit from Mimai. Mimai casserole. For that lovely and special recipe you will need three tablespoons of rope fruit seed, one medium taro, one medium cacao, one medium ginger, one red onion, one white onion, one bundle of Hong Kong, three cloves of garlic, quarter of pumpkin, one tomato, one big carrot, one potato, half lemon, 200 grams of coconut milk, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of five spice, one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of cajun spice, one teaspoon of mixed herbs, one medium tapioca, salt and pepper to taste. And I will show you first how we're going to do the paste, the one I'm talking about it. So what I have is a little pot with sugar, one teaspoon of sugar. I will remove the seeds and use only the red part of the fruit and I will mix it, blend it together to make a paste. As you see, and as you see, that's a lot of string on it. So I don't need that one, so I will get a big piece of it. That's the one. I'm going to cook with it. I will make a paste and the paste will go straight in the pot. So I'm going to put my root fruit in the sugar. So I'm going to mix it gently to make the sugar go all over together. So now, as you see, it's getting more compact together. The sugar put things together, and it's lovely. So that's a base for the Mimai casserole of today. We have the paste ready. That's what we're looking for, aroma. Okay, now I will remove my beautiful fruit and put them down there. And to show you that I'm not lying, that fruit come from Mimai, That fruit, as you see, got the name on it, come from Mimai. It was bring to us by Airborne Limited. Thank you so much. You never saw a fruit like that before. Now we're going to cook with it. I will put it back where it belongs to, to the basket. All right. Now, that's my fruit up here. We're going to start on the first steps of the casserole. Casserole is easy. I'm not going to make it hard. I'm going to make it easy as well. Now. Sorry, man. Yeah. I'm getting a cooking pot up here. That's a little pot I'm going to use. So on that little pot up here, we're going to put mainly all the starch vegetables first. All right, so we get the tapioca first. And we're going to make big cube on it. Tapioca is quite hard, so we're going to cut it like that. One more there. And that one we go on that one there. Tapioca we go straight into the pot. Here we are. It's good here. It's very strong. And I got cow cow up here. So we're going to cut it like that. Same. Big piece. Big piece. I make it big bigger. And we go straight into the cooking pot. There we are. There. And we got taro. You know to make that in house. You make things like that every day. So we're going to get the towel like that. Going on two pieces. I want big piece on it. I want it mashy mashy. So I cut it on two pieces. Excellent. Put it in the cooking pot. One on that side. One on that side. Bang bang bang. Cooking pot. I got one brown onion up here. Beautiful brown onion. Can I do the same? I will do on them. That's it. I will cut a little bit, not too much. I want big piece on that one too. I want to make it chunky chunky. Onion going there. Chunky, chunky, in there. I will do the same for that one. One size, one size, one size. There we are. I have pumpkin. So, same, same, same. Big piece down there. 
in the pot. That's an easy one. Carrot. Whoa, big player. Okay, bit chunky, chunky. There we are. That's the base. That's like a big soup. That's excellent. So we got that one, and I got my potato. Potato from the garden. Same, same. Big piece. I cut it on two, and I cut it on three. There we are. Okay, now I have a lemon up here. Lovely. I will get half of it. I will get half of lemon. I cut him half again. And he will go so all in a pot. Next, ginger. Ginger for the market. Big piece. I like my ginger big. So for ginger. Garlic. Beautiful garlic. Then I will put some too. Quick lamb. And I salt. Put it all back inside. There we are. Now, that will go last because the vegetables cook faster. Next, we are putting coconut milk. So I put it now. Gently, lovely. It's going to give all the flavor. Perfect. Okay. With the leftover of the coconut milk, I'm going to fill it up with water and transfer the water into the pot to make the casserole. There we are. Same, same quantity. So I will go in there. All got to the pot. Lovely. Do you not want to cover it all the way to the top? We're not making a stew, we're making actually a casserole. And we want to retain all the shape and the color of the vegetables. We got all the spice up here. What I'm going to do with the spice? Same, same, same. I got pepper. So I'm going to put a bit of pepper. I like it peppery, so I'm going to put them all. I got pepper up here, lovely. I got my salt up here, lovely. We got most of the ingredients into the pot. Now I'm going to heat up the pot to let him go. So there we are. Beautiful. Here we go straight on top. And here we go there. It will take time to cook. Next, we carry on with all the spice needed to the beautiful casserole. I got five spice up here. Then I will put in there. What spice pass? He got nutmeg, he's got, uh, he's got cinnamon, he's got lots of good spice on it. I want to put on it to make flavory. There we are with the one finish. I have a bit of curry powder, not too much, just for the taste. So I'm not going to put too much of curry powder, one, one teaspoon, something like that, no more, no less. And that's all. One teaspoon is coming up. And I got a cajun spice. Cajun spice is very nice. Remember that casserole does not have any ambush. And vegetable tassel. So we have to give a lot of spice and flavor on it to make it delicious. And I'm going to make it delicious for us. There we are, that one. I have also mixed herbs, a little bit, not too much. I don't want to kill the taste of it. Like I said, I want to retain the flavor. And what we have also, that's me, my special. Then I'm going to put on top, leave it there for the time being, and I'm just going to put it there. It will sit down there, on top of it. That's it. The only thing I did not put yet, it's my tomato. Then I'm going to put my tomato now in. I'm going to put my tomato. I want the tomato to blend together. So the tomato will go in there. So I will put them on top like that. That's where we are. All the spice in there. Cook it for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and we're going to see the result. Let's have a look at our casserole goes. Now it's been boiling for a while, I put them on low fire. I'm going to give a bit of a mix to blend everything together. And we're going to cover it again, give it a 10 minutes cooking, put back the green in there, and it's going to be completed in about 15 minutes time. So I just want to blend all those spice, we put it together so they don't stay only on the bottom. That's the one. So the whole flavor, mm, flavor is there already. And we go for the next stage. Thank you. Well, the casserole has been going on for about 25 minutes and 90 seconds. And I'm going now to put my kumu. I did not cut them. I want to leave them like that because when I want to display them, I want them to look good. So I get my kumu from the garden straight into the pot. So we take the cover out, 
I will roll them up like this, put them on top, give it about five minutes, and I will take them out. And that's it. It's been about 20, 25 minutes, plus another five minutes on top for the kumu. I'm going to remove the casserole from the heat, and we're going to plate it together. Get my pot. Oh, it's lovely. There we are. The casserole is ready. Lovely. Mmm. We did not put any oil, any butter, nothing at all. That's only vegetables. Very good for you. Good for the body, full of zinc, full of vitamin C, B, D, you name it. There's a fix you should have with every day, every night, if you could have that, it's beautiful for you. So I'm going to put it fixed on the side down there. I've got my special spoon up here. I'm going to remove the plate from there, and I'm going to start to plate. So matter when I want to plate it, I want to do it my way. That's it. So I'm going to put the vegetable on one side, up here, clean hand, you'll be all right. Francois is good. Here we are, one more. I'll use my hand, my hand is clean, not to worry. Yes, you are, beautiful. I want to make a little bit of a garden up here. So we look, it's not only about food, you must make food look good. And I'm going to ditch all those beautiful things we done up here. And I'm going to blend them on the middle up here. And I'm agree with them, it is lovely. Here we are, last spoon in. And what, what we have up here, that's the tomato, it's been blended together. The red fruit, the red fruit's been gone already to get juice, it is lovely. So a little piece down there, and there we are. C'est fini, excellent. Like I said, there's no butter, there's no fat in there. That's an excellent healthy dish. There we are, we're done. Lovely dish, full of richness, full of garden vegetables, and with my good friend up here from Imai will give an extremely good flavor. In the meantime, if you know what kind of name or what the fruit is, please let us know on testofpg at emtv.com.pg. And I want to know. Bon appétit. Thank you to viewers. Au revoir. A bientôt. Mama Uta. Taste of PNG is brought to you by Origin Energy.